hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to bind multiple column data from MySQL PHP my admin database into a drop down list control using PHP and here we got the final output the drop down control the employee details notice the column names the name email ID and the salary is binded from this EMP details table that's it if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates now before writing the code in PHP to bind multiple columns into a drop down list control first we'll check the table and the column names I want to bind the table I'm using for this example is the EMP details which contains four columns EMP ID, EMP name, email and salary. I want to bind into a drop down control which is a select option element. So let's write the coding part. I'm using Notepad++ to write the PHP code. First a new one page I'm adding. PHP now in this PHP code, I'm declaring the my connection variables dollar hostname is equals to localhost dollar db name is equals to the database name is sample db dollar username is equals to root dollar password is equals to notice here the fourth variable the password is empty because I don't have any password to log into my PHP my admin database if you have any password please enter that one so after connection the variables dollar con is equals to my SQL underscore connect method the connect method takes four parameters the connection variables all are string variables dollar host name copy this one paste here comma and the second parameter is a username the third parameter is a password I'm not entering anything so I'm leaving blank for the password and the fourth one which is the last database name dollar db name That's it, we have added the connection string. Suppose if the connection string is failed, I want to display the error message if my SQL underscore connect underscore error number method in this if condition I am adding echo. Connection fail dot my SQL underscore connect underscore error method. After that, dollar result variable is equals to my SQL underscore query method. The query method takes two parameters. The first one is a connection variable. and the second parameter is a select statement here the select statement is select start from AMP details between double quotes select start from AMP details semicolon echo center I'm closing the center tag now inside this center tag I'm adding the header tags h1 how to bind multiple column 
from mysql php my admin database into drop down i'm closing the h1 tag echo h2 i'm closing the h2 tag PHP tutorials. After that, after that, I'm adding horizontal line. Now, after the horizontal line, I'm adding the drop-down list control, which is a select option. Echo. Now between the select elements, I'm adding the option element, echo, option, employee, details. The employee details is a default label for the drop down list control. Now I'm binding the data from drop down control from database using while loop while dollar row is equals to mysql underscore fetch underscore array. The array method. In this array method, I am adding the dollar result. Copy this one, paste here. Echo option. I am closing the option tag. Now inside this option, I'm adding dollar row. The column name I'm adding from the table, the EMP name, EMP name. I want to give the pipe symbol between the columns. Dollar row is the second column name which is the email the last one dollar row salary that's it we have binded the employee name email and salary into this select option element which is a drop down control now after the center I'm closing the connection string my sqli underscore close method in this close method I'm adding the connection variable that's it we have done the complete coding part let's save this file I'm saving this file in the root folder www multiple columns bind.php is a file name let's save this file now it's time to check the results on the browser and here we got the final output the drop down control the employee details notice the column names the name email id and the salary is binded from this EMP details table. That's it.